Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our Haute Wedding Dress Set and our Mini Wild Floral Set. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up the top portion of my dress stamp with our Caviar Hybrid Ink. It's Copic friendly because I'm going to be coloring her in with some Copic markers later on. After I stamped her onto an A2 size card panel, I'm going to draw in the skirt. And that was a portion of the stamp that I wiped away the ink from earlier because I wanted to draw it in very lightly though because we're going to be erasing these lines later. Then I'm going to take the solid floral images from our mini wild florals and I'm going to stamp them in our new Arctic Sky dye ink and this is going to serve as the base layer for the skirt. I'm not going to cover the skirt uh, completely in this color. I'm just going to kind of uh, sprinkle just a little bit of it in the skirt. Then I'm going to move on to stamp the rest of the florals in our Miami Cool dye ink. Again, I'm not covering the entire skirt with just one ink. I want to make sure that there's a balance between uh, the four dye inks that I'm using to stamp her skirt. So now I've moved on to stamp some more florals in our Italian denim and I'm not going uh, heavy handed with this at all because it is very dark and I don't want it to overpower the skirt. So those three inks were part of our new Dusty Blues collection but now I'm going in with our Cali Blue dye ink and I'm just filling in all the white spaces in her skirt to make it uh, more complete and to make it look a little fuller. And then I actually went back and filled in some more of the white spaces with the Arctic sky and this is gonna complete the skirt. Next I'm gonna take the separate bodice portion of the dress which comes with the stamp set and I'm going to heat emboss this with silver glitter embossing powder. After I finished embossing my image I'm going to start coloring in the image with an E00 Copic marker first and then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker shade. I'm using E34 to add some shade to uh, the flesh of my stamp. So after I put down the lighter color I went in with the slightly darker shade and then I went back in with the lighter shade and I blended it all together. Then I'm going to take an E49 Copic marker and just color in uh, the hair of my stamp and I do leave like a tiny sliver near the bun to give the hair do just a little bit of definition. Next I'm going to erase all of the pencil lines and then create a mask for my stamped image. And to create a mask for an intricate image I use a piece of tracing paper and I'm just going to basically draw an outline of my entire uh, stamped image and then fussy cut the entire thing and then I'm going to temporarily adhere it onto my stamped image but before you adhere it onto your stamped image erase all of the pencil lines on the tracing paper otherwise when uh, you blend onto from the mask onto the uh, card panel, it's gonna get some of that lead onto your card panel. So you don't want that. So make sure you erase all of the pencil lines. And now I'm just gonna take one of my Clarity stencil brushes and I'm going to uh, blend some bright emerald dye ink. And I'm moving from the mask onto my card panel as I blend. If you go directly from your ink to your card panel, it's gonna leave a harsh line. So you wanna make sure you work from either your mask or a craft mat and then onto the card panel. That tiny space between her waist and her arm, I just colored it in with a mint Tombow marker uh, because I didn't feel like masking that portion to blend the color in. So I actually reapplied the mask and then I uh, did some more of the shading so that it's coming up more from the bottom and I feel like it just gives it a little bit more of um, emphasis to the figure. And now for the sentiment, I am using the To My Most Fabulous Friends sentiment from our Haute book set and I am going to heat emboss this in the same silver glitter embossing powder um, as the bodice of the dress. Next I'm going to take a side folding A2 size card base and I'm just going to apply some of our new burnished silver foil tape on all of the edges. Then I'm going to take my stamped panel and just trim off half of a quarter inch on all four sides because I want to pop this up on my card base and have that silver edge showing on all four sides. Next I'm just going to take some dimensional foam tape and apply it behind my stamp panel and I'm just going to pop this up right over our card base. And for the finishing touch I'm just adding some 8, 6 and 5 millimeter silver metallic sequins to finish off the card.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I kind of stretched our Haute Wedding Dress stamp set and I hope that you took away something new from today's video. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye.